Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to have a talk about some big news that's shaking things up in the car finance world here in the UK. A recent Court of Appeals ruling has had ripple effects across the car market and if you're thinking of financing a car, or if you're a dealer relying on finance deals, this news could impact you. Let's talk about what's happening, why, and what this could mean for car finance going forward. So, let's start with the basics. Recently, the UK Court of Appeals ruled in a case that changes how lenders explain commission payments to customers. This ruling makes it more challenging for finance companies to simply reject customer complaints about unfair terms, sales practices, or unexpected fees in their agreements. Now they're under pressure to ensure these deals are more transparent and fair, and if they aren't, the repercussions could be severe. Judges have decided to allow an appeal after a ruling that a broker could not lawfully receive a commission from a lender without obtaining the customer's full informed consent to the payment. The judges, who unanimously voted to allow the appeals, said that motor dealers acting as credit brokers have a fiduciary duty to their customers. This case was brought against three different lenders, one of those being Close Brothers. And in a statement, Close Brothers said, Close Brothers disagrees with the court's extension of the existing case law in this area and intends to appeal this decision to the UK Supreme Court. The court has determined that motor dealers acting as credit brokers owe both a disinterested duty and a duty of loyalty, fiduciary duty, to their customers. This sets the bar for disclosure of consent to the existence, nature and quantum of any commission paid higher than that required by current FCA rules or regulatory requirements in force at the time of the case in question. While the judgment is likely to extend the current period of uncertainty for the group, we will continue to focus on supporting our customers and protecting our valuable business franchise, the statement added. We will be temporarily pausing the writing of new UK motor finance business while we review and implement any relevant changes to our documentation and processes to ensure compliance with these new requirements. Now, in the hours after the decision was made public, Close Brothers' share price fell from 365.40 pence to 285 pence, before recovering slightly to 318.6 pence at the time of writing. As you can imagine, this ruling has finance companies scrambling. Many are now reviewing their entire agreement structures and sale practices to make sure they're not leaving themselves exposed. And because of the ruling, some lenders are taking extreme steps. For instance, we've seen a few major companies like Close Brothers, Motonovo, and even Honda deciding to pause new retail finance deals altogether while they assess their options. Honda are even delaying handovers of new cars while they assess their agreements. This has left dealers in a tight spot. Car dealerships rely on finance companies to help their customers get approved for vehicle loans. Now, with some lenders pulling back, it's creating a lot of uncertainty, both for dealers who rely on finance deals to close sales and for customers who are looking to finance a car but might be facing limited options. I think it must be a very worrying time for some dealerships that rely on finance commission in order to make profit. If you think of the car supermarket model, where cars are priced keenly and sometimes sold for a minimal profit, as they're relying on the commissions and their add-on products. Some dealerships are turning to alternative finance providers, but there's a sense of unease across the industry. Of course, as I always say in every scenario, there is an opportunity for some. And I've spoken with some brokers who have had a huge increase in new business as dealers and consumers are struggling to find finance via their usual options. So what does this mean for consumers? Well, on one hand, the ruling could lead to better terms and transparency in finance agreements, which could be a big win for car buyers. However, on the other hand, we might see stricter approval processes, higher deposit requirements, or even higher interest rates as lenders look to cover their bases. I actually had a case this morning where a customer wanted to finance a 2011 Land Rover we have in stock. Now, usually Close Brothers were the company to go to for older cars, as they would lend against older cars than most, but Obviously, they're not doing any new business at the moment. So this means that the customer could face either a much more expensive option or just no options at all. So what could happen next? And this is where things get interesting. If more lenders decide to pause or even exit the car finance market, we could see a significant shakeup in how car financing is done in the UK. This could lead to opportunities for new innovative finance providers to step in. But in the short term, dealers and buyers may face some turbulence as the industry adapts to these new rules. This could really put a damper on more expensive car sales, decreasing prestige values, and could even push up the values of budget cars. I think it's likely stock turn will slow down on forecourts 
And the worst unintended outcome will be that consumer and dealer relations will be more tense than they ever have been, with many customers feeling resentful about car dealers making a commission for arranging their finance agreement, especially as this comes shortly after the FCA banned discretionary commission agreements, where dealers could choose the customer's finance rate to increase their commission payout. So in summary, this court ruling is a serious game changer for UK car finance, adding another layer of complexity for lenders, dealers, and consumers alike. I'll be keeping a close eye on how this plays out and will update you with any major developments. So there we have it. It'll be interesting to see how this affects the car market. I think it potentially could put the brakes on car sales quite a bit. It's already been quite slow. What with the budget coming up, I feel like this is just a very difficult time in car sales and this is definitely not helping. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Will this just be a one week thing? They'll figure out the new kind of rules and systems they need to put in place for these agreements and will everything just get back to normal? I feel like it has to in a way, but will it have long lasting effects? Will it affect the car market prices once again? Will we see pricing like we saw during COVID times? I honestly don't know, but I think it's going to have a bigger effect than it would seem in the first instance. This has only just been approved to go to the appeals court. It hasn't necessarily been won yet. There's still a battle to be done. Um, and this is going to make more red tape and more hoops to jump through. So I'll be definitely keeping an eye on it and uh, seeing what happens. Let me know in the comments if you've had finance, whether you feel like you've been hard done by, whether you're a car dealer and you're finding it harder. Are you trying to buy a car right now and you just can't get the finance you felt you were able to get maybe a week ago? Drop everything in the comments and we can have a talk about it. But that will be it for this video. So if you have enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I'm giving away a £4,000 Tudor watch as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, which is not that far away. All you've got to do is be a subscriber and you could be in with a chance of winning. Also, don't forget that I am raffling off a Harley Davidson for just a pound. You can find that on my website, feelgoodcompetitions.co.uk. And if you feel like you need to get out of your car, I also have a car buying website. That is carsboughtformore.com. Enter all your information there. I'm buying loads of cars at the moment. I'm spending all of my Sundays doing pricing and valuation. So get your information on there. I'll try and give you the best price possible and we'll get that car bought. That is it. As I say, thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you updated. I'll see you in the next one.